What if the world's most renowned landmarks held secrets unbeknownst to the masses? Imagine a world where the Eiffel Tower, the Great Wall of China, and the Statue of Liberty were not just symbols of architectural brilliance, but also keepers of hidden stories, clandestine truths, and untold narratives. Yes, these iconic landmarks, scattered across different continents, are more than just popular tourist destinations. They are embodiments of human ingenuity and perseverance, standing tall as testaments to our civilization's ceaseless march towards progress. But beyond their towering facades, beneath the layers of history that they proudly wear, lie tales that are often eclipsed by their grandeur. Take, for instance, the Eiffel Tower, a symbol of love and a beacon of Paris. It's known for its iron lattice structure and dazzling light shows. But what if I told you it's more than just a romantic rendezvous? It's really a tale of iron and rivets that whispers stories of human endeavor and engineering marvels. Then there's the Great Wall of China, a serpentine structure stretching over 13,000 miles. It's a testament to human will and sacrifice, but also a reminder of a time when walls were built not just to keep people out, but also to keep them in. Its bricks and stones hold stories of bravery and sacrifice that often go unheard. And who can forget the Statue of Liberty? A beacon of hope standing tall in New York Harbor, it's an emblem of freedom and a welcoming sight to immigrants arriving from abroad. Yet beneath its copper-green exterior lies a depth of hidden narratives. It's not just a torch-bearing lady, it's a symbol of resilience, a testament to the power of hope and a guardian of secrets that are waiting to be unraveled. These structures are more than just landmarks. They are storytellers, silent witnesses to our world's history, waiting for us to listen, to understand, to delve deeper. So are you ready to explore the unknown, to uncover the hidden, to see the world through a different lens? Join us as we journey through time and unveil the lesser known tales of these iconic structures. Rising majestically in the heart of Paris, the Eiffel Tower is more than just an architectural marvel. It's a symbol, a beacon, a testament to the enduring spirit of innovation and human progress. Now let's journey back to the late 19th century. The year is 1887, and the world stands on the precipice of a new era. In Paris, construction begins on what would become one of the most iconic structures in the world. Yet this iron behemoth was not met with universal acclaim. Quite the opposite, in fact. Some of Paris's most prominent figures decried it as an eyesore, a monstrous intrusion on the city's classical skyline. But Gustave Eiffel, the tower's namesake, was undeterred. He envisioned a monument that would showcase France's industrial prowess, a structure that would stand tall and proud for all to see. Against the backdrop of public outrage, the Eiffel Tower rose, slowly but surely, becoming the tallest man-made structure in the world, a title it would hold for over 40 years. Now let's uncover some lesser known facets of this iconic landmark. At the very top of the tower, hidden from public view, Gustave Eiffel built a small private apartment. Can you imagine the views? A panorama of Paris unfolding before your eyes, a spectacle reserved for only a select few. Eiffel often entertained guests in this lofty retreat, including the renowned American inventor, Thomas Edison. But the Eiffel Tower's significance extends beyond its architectural grandeur and the whims of its creator. During the First World War, it served a crucial role in the field of communications. The tower's lofty height made it an ideal location for intercepting enemy messages and broadcasting French communications. It became an unexpected champion in the theater of war, a silent sentinel safeguarding the French nation. There was a time when the Eiffel Tower's existence hung in the balance. After the 1889 Exposition Universelle for which it was built, there was talk of demolishing it. But Eiffel, ever the visionary, proposed that the tower be used for scientific experiments. Its height made it an ideal platform for meteorological and astronomical observations, saving it from the wrecking ball. So you see, the Eiffel Tower is more than just iron and rivets. It's a symbol of resilience, a testament to the power of vision and the spirit of innovation. It tells a story of a society on the cusp of a new era, of a man who dared to dream and defy convention. It's a monument that has weathered storms, both literal and metaphorical, standing tall and proud, a silent witness to over a century of human history. Indeed, the Eiffel Tower is a testament to the enduring spirit of innovation and progress.
Stretching across vast landscapes, the Great Wall of China has a story that is as lengthy as its structure. Carved into the rugged terrain of northern China, this serpentine structure is a testament to human ingenuity and perseverance. Its story begins over 2,000 years ago, during the reign of Emperor Qin Shi Huang. This ambitious ruler sought to protect his realm from northern invaders, and so, the idea of a grand wall was born. However, the Great Wall as we know it today is the result of contributions from several dynasties. Over the centuries it was extended, fortified and repaired, shaping it into the formidable barrier that stands today. This wasn't just a project of brick and mortar, it was a monumental undertaking that spanned generations. What often goes unnoticed, though, is the wall's role beyond defense. It was a vibrant artery for trade and communication, facilitating the exchange of goods, ideas and cultures. The Silk Road, for instance, was guarded by the Great Wall, allowing the safe passage of merchants and explorers. Thus, the wall was not just a shield, but a bridge connecting the east and the west. One intriguing fact about the wall's construction is the use of a rather unexpected ingredient, sticky rice. Yes, that's correct. The mortar used in some sections of the wall included this staple of Chinese cuisine. The sticky rice acted as a binder, enhancing the durability of the wall. So the Great Wall is, in some ways, held together by the same ingredient that has sustained the Chinese people for millennia. But beneath the glory and grandeur of the Great Wall lies a sobering reality, the human cost of its creation. Millions toiled under harsh conditions to build this edifice. Many lost their lives, their sacrifices buried within the wall itself. It's said that the wall is a dragon built on the bones of the workers. This grim tale of bravery and sacrifice gives the wall a poignant resonance, reminding us of the heavy price paid for this marvel. The wall's story continues to evolve, as it plays a significant role in China's tourism and cultural identity. It's more than a relic of the past. It's a living testament to China's history, a symbol of its resilience, and a beacon pointing towards its future. In its stones and mortar, in its winding path across mountains and deserts, the Great Wall encapsulates the spirit of a civilization. It's a story of ambition, ingenuity, endurance and sacrifice. A story that transcends time and continues to inspire. The Great Wall, thus, is a symbol of the indomitable will and resilience of the Chinese people. The Statue of Liberty, a symbol of freedom and democracy, has more to its tail than meets the eye. This iconic figure, standing tall in New York Harbor, is a beacon of hope to many, but its journey to its current pedestal was not without challenges. The Statue of Liberty, or Lady Liberty as she is affectionately known, was originally a gift from France to the United States. A symbol of friendship between the two nations, it was meant to celebrate the centennial of American independence, and was designed by French sculptor Frédéric Auguste Bartholdi. However, Bartholdi's grand design was so big and so ambitious that it had to be shipped to America in pieces. Imagine, if you will, over 300 individual pieces arriving on American shores, waiting to be assembled into the towering figure we know today. Quite the jigsaw puzzle, wouldn't you say? And the challenges didn't stop there. The statue arrived in America before its pedestal was ready. The reason? A lack of funds. Yes, even Lady Liberty had to wait for her moment in the spotlight. Fundraising was a struggle, and for a time it seemed as though the statue might remain in pieces. But thanks to the tireless efforts of newspaper publisher Joseph Pulitzer, who launched a fundraising campaign in his newspaper, The New York World, the required funds were eventually raised. Now, let's delve into some of the lesser-known facts about Our Lady of Liberty. Did you know that when the statue was first erected in 1886, it was a dull copper color? Over the years, the statue underwent a stunning transformation, thanks to a natural weathering process called patination. The copper reacted with the air to form a layer of verdigris, giving the statue its distinctive green hue we know and love today. And have you ever noticed the broken chains at Lady Liberty's feet? These chains, often overlooked by visitors, symbolize the abolition of slavery, a critical part of American history. The chains are broken, representing a break from oppression and a step towards freedom. So, you see, the Statue of Liberty is not just a grand structure of copper and steel. It's a testament to international friendship, a symbol of freedom and democracy, and a representation of the struggles and triumphs faced by a nation. It's a beacon of hope, welcoming immigrants from across the globe with the promise of a better life. 
The Statue of Liberty, therefore, stands as a beacon of hope, embodying the spirit of a nation built by immigrants. Our journey through these landmarks has revealed their fascinating secrets. As we've journeyed together, from the towering heights of the Eiffel Tower, to the winding expanse of the Great Wall of China, and finally to the stoic strength of the Statue of Liberty, we've uncovered tales that transcend the mere bricks, iron and stone of their construction. These iconic landmarks aren't just symbols of national pride or feats of engineering. They are living, breathing testament to the human spirit. The Eiffel Tower, more than just iron and rivets, stands as a beacon of French resilience and innovation. It's a symbol of a nation's determination to reach for the sky, to demonstrate to the world its prowess and its vision. The Great Wall of China, a serpentine tale of bravery and sacrifice, stretches across thousands of miles, a testament to the sheer willpower and determination of an ancient civilization. It's a story etched in stone and mortar, a story of a people's desire to protect their home and way of life. And the Statue of Liberty, a beacon of hope with hidden depths, has welcomed millions to a land of opportunity. But beneath the surface, it holds a narrative of struggle and triumph, a narrative that resonates with every person who has ever dreamed of a better life. These landmarks, they are not just structures, they are stories. Stories of ingenuity, resilience, and the ceaseless pursuit of progress. Stories that echo through the ages, reverberating with the hopes, dreams, and ambitions of the people who created them. And these stories, once hidden, are now revealed, adding another layer to our understanding and appreciation of these magnificent landmarks. So, as we draw our journey to a close, Let's remember the depth and complexity behind these landmarks. Let's keep in mind that every brick, every rivet, every stone holds a piece of our shared human history. These landmarks, in their silent majesty, hold stories of human ingenuity, resilience, and the ceaseless pursuit of progress. And now, these stories are no longer secrets to you. Yeah. I hope I'm there. I hope